The DevExpress ASP.NET Image Zoom Control provides you with the ability to display images in high resolution detail. It combines two image zoom effects. Hovering over the image displays a zoomed area, and clicking on the image enlarges it in a full screen pop up. Let's take a look at the options available in this demo. You can disable the hint displayed in the top left corner and disable the expand window that displays a full screen pop-up with the high-res image. Now the hint is not displayed and clicking the image doesn't invoke a full screen pop-up. The zoom window can be displayed at any side, right, bottom, left, or top of the image. The zoom window can also be displayed within the image borders so that you can zoom inside the image. You can also change the opacity effect applied to the mouse box. The Large Image Load Mode option allows you to define the large image load behavior. For example, you can load large images via callback only when an end user hovers the cursor pointer over the small image. Another great feature is the Image Zoom Navigator component. It displays a set of thumbnails, and clicking a thumbnail makes the corresponding image active within the Image Zoom control. Setting the Active Item Change Action option to Hover allows your end users to change the active image not only by clicking a thumbnail, but also by hovering it. Next, I'll demonstrate how you add an image zoom control to your project. Here in Visual Studio, I have an ASP.NET Web Forms project. You can see that the content area is empty. I navigate to the toolbox. In DX 14.1 Navigation and Layout, I drag the ASPX image zoom control and drop it into the content area. Then I specify the path to the small image within my content folder. And a path to the large image. The smart tag allows you to define the other options as well. And that's it. Let's take a look at the result in the browser. Here you can see the fully functional ASPX image zoom control. Hovering a small image invokes a zoom window, and clicking the small image invokes a full screen pop up with the large image. Let's return to Visual Studio and add the ASPX image zoom navigator control. I navigate to the toolbox in DX 14.1 Navigation and Layout. I drag the ASPX Image Zoom Navigator control and drop it to the content area. In the Smart Tag menu, I can bind the control to the data source with images, or I can define image items manually. Here, I can also define the main control options. Let's define the folder from which the Image Zoom Navigator will retrieve its images. The ASPX Image Zoom Navigator control will automatically generate the images of the required sizes for me. To do this, I should specify the cache folder that will store the generated images. If the folder doesn't exist, the control will create it. Here I can also define the height and width of the small image, large image, and thumbnail. Let's set the large image size to 900 pixels. Now, I associate the ASPX Image Zoom control with the ASPX Image Zoom Navigator. To do this, I set the associated Image Zoom Navigator ID property value to the ASPX Image Zoom Navigator ID. And that's it. All the images generated by the Image Zoom Navigator will automatically display within the ASPX Image Zoom control. Let's save the page and take a look at the result in the browser. Here you can see the fully functional Image Zoom control that displays images from the ASPX Image Zoom Navigator control. I can select any part of the image and see it magnified. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.